Welcome back to Bad Bad Bowling 101 with your boy C. Today we're going to be doing the ball review on, that's right, the Storm Absolute. I've been looking forward to throwing this ball. Now, remember, I'm not a big fan of hybrids. But guess what? That doesn't matter because I've been looking forward to this one. I love any bowling ball red in and the Absolute does that for me. Now, the layout for this ball is going to be my typical 6x5x5.5. Five by five and, and I was looking and was excited to do it because it's the first asymmetrical ball that I'm actually putting it on. I think it's the first asymmetrical ball. I'm going to have to go back and take a look to verify, but I'm pretty sure it is. So I'm excited to see what it's actually going to do, how it's going to react. Um, I didn't change anything. It's still the reactor gloss out of the box, which I'm not a fan of reactor gloss either. Normally... I will change the surface to about 2,000 grit. That way I can maintain that surface throughout anything with my sub with Avalon pads. But I left it for the factory setting for this one. Also, as you can see, the pen well beneath the fingers. Um, it's using the R2S cover stock. Um, it's also using the, it's, it's, it's considered, it's also using the Sentinel core, which I want to see how the Sentinel core works with the cover stock. Um, it, it should be fantastic, but we're going to have an opportunity to see it for ourselves. Um, they classify it as a deep hybrid. I'm going to be honest with you. I have no idea what that means. So if one of you figure that out, please send me a message and let me know. Okay. The RG for this is 2.48. So that means it should turn a little early. Um, for example, the Revenant, um, the RG is 2.55. So this one should turn start this this one should start to hook uh, a bit earlier than the revenant but then again the revenant is a reactor pearls made to go long this is a hybrid um and then the diff is 0.050 and then the mass bias is 0.021 okay so what am i expecting from this ball i expect it to turn the corner actually i'm gonna be honest with you with this six by five by five and a half layout, I don't know what it's gonna do. Your guess is good as mine. So I uh, no further ado, let's go ahead and throw it and find out what exactly it's gonna look like. Okay? All right, here we go. Okay, so we're starting with the storm absolute. We're gonna start with our feet on 15. I'm pretty sure it should line up fairly well on 15, so let's give it a shot. Beautiful. Now remember, the Absolute is a hybrid. And the RG is 2.48, like we went over earlier. Uh, that means that with the lower RG, that means the ball will start to pick up a little sooner. Sweetness from 15. And remember, the drill for this one is 6 by 5 by 5 and a half. Now pay attention to the shape. That really hurt. Whew. Uh, let's pay attention to the shape. And we'll try to repeat the same shot. Get a couple more and then move a little left. All right, let's try one more. Let's, like I said, let's try one more from 15. Although it seems like 15, 7, 15, 8 is our sweet spot. Oh, the seven pin. Thing I like most about the absolute is that when it hits, it destroys. So we're going to move two left, go to 17, take a look at it. So far, so good. Checks all the boxes. So we can't repeat the shot at 17. Now remember, I'm not the biggest fan of hybrids. I got rid of the RSTX3, the reality check. It's not the biggest fan. But so far, so good. And yes, I'm back to wearing a wrist brace. 
uh, well, here's the thing. Sometimes things happen. If you don't want to boil, you just got to protect yourself a little bit. Still at 17. Got that a smidget outside, but you're seeing the reaction. That's beautiful. All right, two more from 17. We can't make them high-quality shots. I'm going to try to get it around five. There it is. One more from 17. Last one from 17. And being that I'm a lower rev bowler, if I even get 300 on that, I'd be impressed. I'm, that's why I use this 6x5x5.5 by five by five drill. Make my life easier. So we'll throw a couple of shots here at 19. I'm going to try to go 19 and 6. So I can't get it to bend back. Not, out, not in there, I can't. This is the natural surface that the ball came with. This reactor gloss crap. Not the big fan. Let me see if I can't move it up 10 and see how that works. Uh, now, this ball performance at 19 may be more of the drill. It's asymmetrical. This drill works great for symmetrical. So, uh, let me try to move it inside to 12. That's ah, still out at 10. Oh, didn't even move. So, instead of going inside, I'm going to try to go outside. So, let's go 19 and 5. Try to get it down the lane to reach 5 and see what it does. Barely. But as you can see, it's got limitations. Let's try this again from 19. Uh, throw, yeah, let's try it again. It's got there. All right, let's go 19 again. See if we can get a little better shot with it. Try two more, and then we'll go talk about it. Better. Okay, so last one from 19. Let's go talk about it. Catches the friction. It's wonderful. All right, so we had the chance to throw the absolute. And it uh, wasn't so bad. I was excited to throw it. I started off on 15. And... You've seen the reaction. I mean, boom, boom, boom. I couldn't ask for more from it. Um, got down the lane. Transitioned well. It was pretty smooth. Archetype bend. I could live with. Um, it was also smooth from 17, smooth from 19. So, so far, so good. I'm still on the fence, though, because, again, I'm not the biggest hybrid fan. Um, but it seemed to be responding quite well. Um, I, I did throw a couple of balls where it hit the oil line, and it didn't move the way I thought it would. But then again, it's with the reactor glow finish on it, so don't let me undersell it to you, okay? Um... With that being said, I mean, no, I'm not overly excited because I'm, I'm trying to figure out in my mind how far left I can go with it. Um, I'm not so sure that my drill didn't have something to do with how the ball is responding. I thought it would be a lot more aggressive, but that 6x5x5 by five by five and a half layout may not be good for asymmetrical or may not be good for a hybrid or I'm not sure exactly. So let's get on lane, throw some more shots and see. All right, now that we talked about it, let's go ahead and try the 22. Uh, 
with the limitations this ball is showing with this particular drill and my little rev rate, maybe not be the ball, maybe more me. Look at that. It hits the drive. Boom. And it hits hard. Let's give another shot. So remember, keep it on the outside. Nope. Nope, if it doesn't get out there that friction, it ain't coming back. Now remember, when you're judging this ball, and I hope that you are looking at the shape of it, where it's starting to pick up at, remember, a low rev for me, so it may not be the ball. Okay, balance issues, everything else. So with my drill and my low rev rate, I have limits, and I'm seeing my limitations. Hand up. Lee guys know what this means. All right, so we're going to go move right to 20 and start moving back right to finish this video up. You see my limitations, low rev, and the ball. Twenty, big difference from twenty-two. I saw another one at twenty. All right, last one from twenty. Stay out around five. Oh, a little inside. But it works. I'm not going to argue with it. Last one from 20. Let's move over. <laughs> 17. All right. Last shot at 17. Whew. Last shot of the day from 15. Let's make it a great one. All right, last shot of the day from 15. Let's make it a good one. All right. So we've thrown several shots with the Storm Absolute. Absolutely gorgeous shots. I mean, from 15 to 20, absolutely gorgeous. Um, what it hits, it destroys. It's like a super tank. Once you reach the 22 zone, not so much. But then again, if you change the surface to maybe say a thousand grit, 1500, well, a thousand grit, it might rotate a lot better. I think. The drill that I use is a little weaker than most, so that may have a little bit to do with the aggression of the ball. So, do I give it a thumbs up? Yes. Absolutely. Absolutely, I give it a thumbs up. Do I recommend it? Sure. For a lot of different types of bowlers, yes, it's absolutely ideal. For me, I haven't found a hybrid that I like, but I'm excited about one that's coming, and that is the... The Red Hammer Widow hybrid that's coming out. I'm excited to try it. I don't know if it's just because the ball is red and red is my favorite color, which it is, if you can't tell already. So, with that being said, let's ask the big question. Is that ball going to make it into my tournament bag? That answer is no. Um, I have... No hybrid's gonna make it. I'm gonna have in my tournament bag, I'm gonna go three solid, two solid, two pearl, two urethane. That's what's gonna be in my tournament bag. I can tell you the pitch black is in. I can tell you the purple hammer is in. I can tell you the proton physics is in. I can tell you the 
this is going to surprise you. The GB4 Pearl is in. The rest, I have no idea. But we got to June to figure it out, and you guys can go on that road. Now, is everything I got right now locked in? I'm going to say no. Well, pitch black and purple hammer are locked in. Everything else is up for grabs. Especially with things like the TNT and all these other balls coming out every day, you never know. So, with that being said, thank you guys so much for making all this possible. Um, remember, the ball giveaway is going to be at 1,200 subscribers. We're currently over 900 subscribers now. So, thank you guys very much for that. This is your channel. If you have any questions, please send me a message on social media, which is Instagram or TikTok. It's easier for you to do it, and I promise I'll respond right away. And a big thing also, if you're in the area or you're going to be coming in the area and you would like to give me a, a challenge and you think you can beat me, well, hey, we can do a ball giveaway challenge just for that. You come on, we bowl, we record, and if you win, you get the ball. Nothing sweeter than that. Okay, so with that being said, again, hit the thumbs up button if you like the video. And that little red box, please hit the subscribe button. And I hope you guys are enjoying, going to enjoy the road to the Nationals. Because this time we're going, to, we're going to do it. From practicing on sports shots, which will be coming here in March, all the way to, to Nationals itself. All right? I'm C. This is Bad Bad Bowling. Have a great day.